Hey there, Super Spaz here, and welcome back to Long War Beta 15F, Iron Man Impossible, as in, holy crap, how much fun are we gonna have on this swarming urban large abduction? Ah, uh, we've got a, I already explained the teams last time. I don't know if I want to do it twice, because that seemed kind of lengthy, so I'm just gonna launch the mission and talk about what we might see on the way there. Well, we'll find that out very soon, but the thing about urban large maps is they can be very... variant. You can see a lot of things on them. Dropship has arrived. And we'll see exactly what we're gonna see in a second. But I kind of prepared for this, hopefully. Ah, 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 drop I knew it! I knew it! In Canada. We've gotten several reports indicating that the aliens have stepped up the number of attempted abductions. I knew it, I knew it, we'll I knew it. We'll have to move quickly if we want to slow the spread of panic. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it! Oh my god, this map. Okay, we can pray for a good start or we can pray for a bad start. Well, we can pray against a bad start. We do not pray for the bad start. I knew it was going to be this map, because I was going to say, it can be a building that's easy to infiltrate, or it can be the train station, or it can be the really tiny rooftop construction map. And this is the one I was thinking it was going to be, because the maps don't usually follow each other directly after they happen. Oh my god, oh my god, we got the tiny, we got the tiny construction map. Oh dang, I hate this map. It's so small. It's so small and it's hard to move, and if you move wrong, oh thank god. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Beast God. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one is the green light for deployment. Man, that is a relief. We got a good start. We got a pretty good start. This is very good if you can get your sniper up on top of. Oh, that's a problem. Well, Mayra can get up here. Oh, but she has to dash that way to do it. I don't want to do that. I want to try and. uh... Well, we brought a scan. Ted Res actually has. Wait, us. Oh, he has the motion tracker. That's right. Well, this will actually be very beneficial on this map. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move him up I'm to here, move. and we'll go ahead and activate it first turn and see exactly what we're dealing with. Okay, so we got meld out here, which, you know, not a big surprise. That's actually not too bad. There's probably a pod over in this corner, because Ted Res is here, and if you look up in this way a little bit, yeah, there's going to be a pod in that corner, so we want to look out for that. We want to not try not to activate that, so if we can get the sniper up to a position where she doesn't activate it but still can see it eventually, then we're golden. Uh, now I think... Based on the motion scanner's scans, we can actually move up this way against this wall and we'll be alright. I'm on it, Commander. Like we should be okay with this. Headed there now. And we can kind of use it as cover. Uh, the question is, who wants to do that for me? Me Marvel. And also, where does the rocket tier want to go? Tettle Todd is gonna have to set up a rocket somewhere. Here doesn't That's seem actually like a bad place. Because she can get a rocket through this little gap and uh, give us some assistance that way. And as for the sniper, you're going to want to get up here. But probably not that way. Probably this way is best. Hell, even here might be. Nope, that's still still not the way I want you to go. Location okay, we'll put you confirmed. by the evac zone, but I just don't want to activate anything. Good. No activations, please. Those suck. I don't want them. I will have none of it. Thank you. Now, if we can get up here, we're good. But the problem is the motion scanner seems to be revealing that we have a couple problemos over on the other side. So they're either right on top of this, which will be for a very, a very interesting firefight, or uh, they're somewhere else, which would be fine. So I can start moving toward it, I think. We're on safe to way. do that. Overwatch, but otherwise, everybody else is going to overwatch. Oh, I actually don't know why I overwatch with you. That was probably not smart. Nope, 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 nope. Man, if I accidentally hit that button one time, I'm going to be so mad. I'm gonna be so pissed off. Okay. Now I think somebody has a battle scanner too. Aye, you do. That you do, Harja. Might not be such a bad plan to get, but I don't wanna scout with Harja. I'll go around and scout with the scout. I can't get up there. Wow, scout has some interesting aye, mobility. Aye, interesting mobility indeed. We can start moving up to here, because this is a very good position to take if you're going to try and take this map. Okay. We'll leave the sniper back there for now. That's okay. I'm cool with that. But we can throw a scan out this way and see if we can detect what's around the corner. Uh, and how much range we have to move up this ladder. In fact, it might have been a better idea to move it, put the scanner up on top of there. Mmm, nothing. Nothing at all but meld. Which is scary. And again, I can use the motion tracker if I'm feeling so inclined. And I don't feel that inclined. I mean, don't get me wrong. I feel inclined about some things, but this, not one of them. Okay, well, the motion... The battle scanner says we're cool to move. So I'm going to trust it. Trust its judgment and just move slow. 
you can maybe get somewhere a little less, uh, okay. a little less that I have to do maintenance on you every turn, but you can steady this round. Always move your sniper last, by the way. Uh, what I just did was wrong. I shouldn't Position have done that. Confirmed. Okay, we'll get everybody ready to move up this ladder in a turn. That means you too, danger. Well, that even means the Rocketeer, I think, can start heading Moving that way. Out. But we'll keep her steadied in case we get a pod coming at us straight on. And then, true one, gonna Moving. go around the long way. Okay. Overwatch Hartman. I guess Overwatch Ted Res, even though, uh... We'll think about it. We'll think about using that motion scanner. They are right around that corner. I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong about this. So the other thing you got to worry about is when you do that... So they're probably right there. They're right in that little spot we can't see. So we have to be very careful. We want to clear this roof before we do anything at all. So we should probably do this. Um, definitely should. All right, move on up. Get a good look. Roof seems good. We actually seem good for this. Oh, this is good news. Very good news. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we can start uh, moving, moving people position. up, but not too far, because we might reveal something we don't want to reveal. But I think you're pretty safe as long as there's a block there against that. You won't see too far out. We'll be cautious, though. Now the assault can move back here. We don't really it doesn't really matter if he moves up too far. Tell Todd probably want to take this position so she can at least maybe fire yes, a rocket at something. Now you That's a good position for you, but it leaves you very uh, out in the open compared to the rest of the squad. So maybe not a good Whoa. idea. Okay, good. And we see around this corner too and there's nothing, so that's also good news. Moving so this means next position. turn we're going to be very ready to move up with everybody. Often big. And the sniper can move over here and get ready to assist us on the top, but she does have lone wolf, so that's another question we want to we want to um, consider is whether or not it's just best to keep her over here, and then maybe she can even get flanks over here. Might be even better to move her further that's back. Affirmative. Hopefully she won't be too obstructed. She just won't be able to see anything bit down there, but that's okay. And then everybody uh, Overwatch up here except the rocketeer. You're going to steady. If you can, yeah. Overwatch, next turn, we're gonna try to activate what's on that corner. And just what's on that corner. We can't get Here it is. Here it is, kids. This is what I was afraid of, but we're in a pretty good job, Danger. And it's a good Overwatch for a heavy battle rifle. This is what I was worried about. And this is probably not what we're gonna get a rocket on now. Because this little piggy is a cyber disc. We got discs, kids. Or at least one disc. But. We are in a position that we can't handle it, so don't worry. Um, we're gonna be all right, I think. Yeah, shotgun overwatch on a drone, not always gonna happen. And as long as we just deal with, and only with, the cyber disc. Mm, that's unfortunate. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, give me the sniper. Because if we can get a sick crit off this thing, I don't think we can shred it, we don't have any shreds on it, but we do have a precision shot. Oh baby, oh yeah. That's the kind of shot you want to take first on a disc. I don't think we have any ability to shred it this mission, which I actually, in hindsight, probably should have brought. But now we're uh, we're kind of stuck in this this little rut. So we're just gonna do that to the disc, take out a huge chunk of it he its health, and make it a little bit easier to handle. Now, what do we want to do about the rest of these these yahoos? Well, that's a good question. We can probably just grenade those drones and then be done with it. Although they're not flying, so it's probably better. Well, our, all our attentions go to that disc. Absolutely. Wow, nice shot. Uh, want to just do that for me? Hey, if you can make this second shot, Gypsy, you're going to be in a good place, let me tell you. Executioner, that's of, co of course, of course, she has Executioner. Oh, that disc is stupid. And, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first cyber disc of the campaign. Brought to you by Super Spaz. Oh, dear God. Mm, we may have activated another pod just there because there was probably Thin Man it sounded. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're pissed. So, as brought to you by Super Spaz, is not always, may I add, I if I can add a disclaimer real quick, uh, not always a good thing. Not always a good thing. Um, we do have to deal with that, however. And I probably don't want to move right up into that, uh, right up into that cover there. 
fact, I want to lob grenades over and deal with those things from afar. I do not want to deal with them up close in fear of activating more enemies. We activated more enemies. <laughs> God damn it. Well, these guys are far away. They're less of a problem, and if we all hunker behind this full cover except Gypsy, who's going to have to get smoked, we'll be all right. 80% uh, is not bad. I'd take it. Good job. So that's the drone on our flank taken out. Now we just have to handle the other one, but I don't know how we're going to do that, especially with this amp... Um, this very, very skimpy cover we have. And I don't want to, I definitely don't want to activate anything else now. We can send Harja around. Moving to position. And hopefully, since that was the only pod I think we could see, it's the only pod we're going to activate. Now, with a heat gunner like this, ugh, that's a good shot, but it needs hollow. Uh, do we have any way to back this up? Yeah, we do. We can back that up with a heat grenade. So that's probably what you're going to be doing. You're going to go ahead and fire on that one. You don't have, uh, hollow. Yeah, nope, it's, it's done. Now we just need somebody to take out that last one. A true one. You wanna be the true one and kill some aliens? I'm all over it. The truest of them all. 74%, not even a guarantee to kill either. Yeah. That's a problem with those things, huh? And now we need to use the smoke on you. The Rocketeer... I guess the Rocketeer could try and finish that thing off, but then again, there's Thin Men coming, and we don't want to deal with that. Uh, you do need to use the smoke on people who are visible by the Thin Man. True One is also going to be visible, too, come to think of it. But we can't get everybody. That's a problem. Buttercup, where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know, Buttercup. And you can't go anywhere there because we might activate more, so that's a problem. You're just gonna have to throw a grenade at that thing and finish it off because I'm I don't have any more shots on it or any at least reliable shots. Well, I mean that depends because if I stand back here, the thin men probably won't see me because they're all the way over there, unless they get a really good angle on me. And the rocketeer's not gonna do anything anyway. So let's see. Now I can't even see it. All right, move there, rocketeer. Uh, and use the AP grenade of whole the holy hand grenade. We're just gonna try and take this thing out old-fashioned like it's like pretend it's pretend it's March Also try not to blow up uh, Smith's or uh, true ones cover. I would be very sad if we lost an assault Good That's one down Hartman you need to smoke. I don't know if you should smoke true one or you should smoke gypsy Honestly, they both have the same health. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this side Because it's a little less likely they'll see true one. I think gypsy's poking out a little bit more uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Don't worry, True One, I believe in you. We have... Well, height doesn't do anything for cover advantage. Mm, okay, they can't see anything. In fact, they're just running up to the border. Uh-oh! That guy can see. But I think they're dashing. Unless they have movement of the uh, Ukrainian GIS that I did not know about. They do! They do have the movement. Ah, damn it, danger! Smoke wasn't enough. Oh well, they're in very destructible cover, so if we just huck a grenade down that way, never mind. Oh, they didn't activate, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, base god. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we need to not activate those floaters. We also need to throw grenades somehow without activating those floaties down there. How are we gonna do it? How are we gonna do it? We've only killed one pod, and that was the cyberdisc pod. What's your grenade range? Oh, that's a very good grenade range. Actually, I think that might just work out. Um, it will give us some very much needed grenade utility out. to uh, handle these chumps. Good. Now they should be in sight soon. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to activate the floaties to do this, aren't we? Yo, man, I don't want to activate no floaties right now. Understand? That's a bad time. That is a bad time. Danger's in trouble. Well, we need to kill the thin man. I mean, we don't have a choice there. And then what about the guy on the on the, um, one side? Because if... Oh, no, that lo looks like he's actually there. Pardon my cheating. But we had three thin men. Two are there, one's there. Uh, they could easily run up and get a flank if we start using this cover, but we can't kill that one this turn. We have to just pray he does something dumb and have enough people to overwatch. But how are we going to take out these guys without activating the floaties? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. And to be honest, I don't think there is a good answer to that question. I think the best answer is that we're going to have to activate the floaters and deal with them too. Even though we, uh, but we've already committed to that whole grenade thing. 
Well, you can take out one of the Thin Men if maybe we used a battle scanner and figured out what was down there. So who has the other scans? Hmm. Who can even do anything this turn? I mean, you can all get up to this cover, except Smithson, who already just went, but he's in smoke, so that's okay. Teletod is not a Rocketeer that has Snapshot, so that's probably not something I would do. Harmon can make it up to this cover. She doesn't have a scan. Tedraz does have a... Oh, no, he's the motion tracker. That won't help us. Oh, did we only bring one scan? No, we only brought one. No, 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 no. True One Flynn has the scan. I can command him to do other stuff. Uh, is it really worth Because we'll only be able to kill one if we do that with the sniper. The sniper might be able to help us out with the floaters, too. All right, we're going to have to activate the floaters, I think, if we want to take care of these mints, so... Heading to that location. Oh, my God, we didn't activate them. Thank you. Thank you. Sniper, take one out. And then we overwatch with everybody else and deal with the floaters next turn. Oh, that was a relief. Okay, uh, take out the one with the four health, please. I can't actually tell which one that... I think they might actually both have four health done. Um, that's, um, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Well, you might kill one of them, if we're lucky. 78 crit's not bad. I'd take that shot, even. Like, as a shot, seven Oh, okay, yeah, that's, Down. that's good. Alright, now Harja can take out the next one. Hopefully. Yep, that one's dead. Okay, one more Thin Man to go, and we can Down. overwatch it. We also want to get our rockets ready, but I'm not sure... Are we gonna activate the floaters this way? On my way. I... They look like they're right up against the wall. Good, we can steady with that. A okay, true one. True one gonna overwatch ya. It's gonna overwatch here. Come get some. Buttercup Hartman. Oh, Buttercup, Buttercup, Butter, 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 Buttercup. Buttercup, where do you go? I don't know. I don't actually have a good answer. You already went. Karen Hartman can go here, but it's not good cover. Where are the floaters? What are they doing? How does this work? Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna overwatch with Hartman. And then Ted Res is gonna have to overwatch somewhere too. Okay, I'm starting to think that if I go out another square, we're gonna see those floaters. Ugh. They're all right there. I don't know, that's scary. That's a scary thought. We shouldn't see them, but we might. And I don't want to. It's bad, it's a bad time. Ugh, because if we're not ready for them, then we're going to get pummeled. Absolutely pummeled. We might could run all the way around here and hopefully not activate anything, but you don't know that. There could be more out there, too. We could use a most tracker again, actually, to figure out if that's true. Okay. Yeah, we have the one thin man we knew about. We have another lone guy back this way toward the meld that was here, so he's, he's chilling right there, so that might be part of a pod, even. Who's this? Is this like a split pod? And then the floaters are right up in front of us? Oh, crap. Maybe the Thin Man wasn't here, but then what is here? Surely that is the Thin Man. Because he ran up. That's not the Thin Man. That's not the Thin Man. It can't be. It cannot be. I won't believe it. I think we're okay on the floaters if we go here, though. But I don't know if we're okay if we go here. I don't think we are. I mean, we could also send somebody over to protect... Uh, Protect danger too in case he comes up this side, which he might. And then Heading we won't out. even see him on Overwatch, so that might be smart. Roger that, scanning. Oh no! No, he was not. That's not what he was doing. Oh crap. Now, he's gonna have to get real crafty if he wants to flank us. He didn't have to, actually. He didn't have to do anything at all. I lied to you. Seekers! Oh, don't see my sniper. They all looked at her, but they didn't actually see her. Okay, that sucks. And there's the floaters. So we got threats on both sides. We got threats on all sides, baby. Uh, we cannot use a rocket on those seekers. They are too far. However, we can, if we're lucky, use a rocket on these floaters. Now, where do you want to place it is the question. This is not a bad idea. Uh, this will take care of a lot of their cover. It'll make them really easy meat, but we do have to... Watch out for the Thin Man next turn. We have to also take care of those float uh, Seekers. I don't know what they're going to do. Our Sniper is in a hell of a, a dilly of a pickle if this doesn't work. Okay, the shot is not blocked. I'm going to go ahead and start with it. It's going to deal a lot of damage to a lot of floaters. Good. Okay, now we can take them out pretty easily, I hope. Now, True One. Can True One... And you can use the motion scanner to kind of figure out where they are. We can also huck a grenade down there. 
Oh man, so many seekers. That is never a good time. Never, ever, ever, ever. We might have to back it up. Back the truck up here a sec. Get Gypsy back into cover. Healer or something, I don't know. Uh, Hartman honestly, only, has only two shots. This is a hundred. I don't know. I don't know why. I guess because he's not flying. Uh, let's let's take the guarantee. Actually, who's got a better shot on the one that's not? Seventy-one and a hundred. I think I'll actually take that one with Harja because she's a little just better at. I don't think we're gonna use command. We're gonna try and stay up here. Out of the game. Oh, uh, this is hell. This is Sparta. Is what this is. Come on, Hartman. You can do it. Good job, Hartman. I think we only have one floater left. Right, reload. I don't know how we're going to take care of these guys. I am actually perplexed. Our sniper is in hell of a hell of a problem. Has a hell of a problem here. If these seekers come after her, we're going to have to pray that she does not get noticed. Now, I think that was the pod that was over there. And that means where's the thin man then? Ah, oh, that's why, because it was fire. So that wasn't the thin man at all. So we don't actually even know where he is. Not if we use the motion scanner. We will know where he is if we do that. Uh, but we won't be able to see those floaters. Still, use the motion scanner. Can tell us a lot about what we're dealing with. So I think what we have... Let's see what we've killed so far. We've killed two thin men. One cyberdist, three drones. So that's six... Yes, six enemies right there. Two floaters, eight. We have another floater out there somewhere. And by my guesstimate, I'd say he's sitting behind this wall somewhere. We can't see him. And then something else out there. And then the Seekers in front of you. Oh, yeah, the Thin Man. So if the Seekers are all right here. Yeah. We saw them go there. That means the Thin Man is somewhere over here. Which means he's probably hiding behind this wall. So running gunning would probably not do as much good. It would probably do as more good against the Seekers. Gypsy needs to get back. You need to get back, and you need to just not be seen by anybody. We need somebody to take care of that flo the floater, too, coming in on our side. And you're just in big trouble. You are in big trouble, Missy. You're going to have to hunker. You can't, you can't run. There's no way you can run right now. I'd say hunker. And then we'll help send the rest of the squad to help you out next turn. Now, the floater's going to come. Hopefully, it's too stupid to flank. Well, no, it might not be. Because, let's see, if it's on Ted Rez's parallel, but up a little bit. So, it's somewhere back here. Or it's uh, right behind this wall. Yeah? I mean, who's got mobility to actually test that theory? Oh, yeah, it's right there. It's right there. So, it's going to be smart enough to flank. We need somebody to stop it. But then, what about the Thin Man, you know? True One could potentially go down here and deal with all this mess. The Thin Man's probably not on Overwatch because we saw it dash. The Floater might be on Overwatch. Damn, True One, do you want to be a hero? Do you want to be a goddamn hero today? And I don't think there's anything else out there. Let's see, how many pods has this been? So this is the fourth, this is Seeker Pod, uh, Cyberdisc Pod, Thin Man Pod, Floater Pod, four pods. Usually on a swarming, that's what you're going to see. And each of them is comprised of three, three, four, four. This is probably the this is probably the limit to the map. There might be another pod, but I don't see any reason that might be. And if I go back here with True One, uh, we'll be pretty safe if I run and gun this and then kill the floater. The Thin Man should be able to see us. Actually, you can kind of tell where he is, and he's not down here. He is not there. So I don't know where the Thin Man is. What he's doing. It's not, it's not good, whatever he's doing. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We're going to run and gun. And you're going to take this guy out. And hope that nothing... Oh my god, it's on Overwatch. Run, 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 run. Oh, thank god. It was a 27. That's actually not very good. Okay, let's hope the floater was not on floater watch or has CCS. Okay, there's the thin man. And the floater is dumb. He's not on Overwatch. Okay, we overcompensated for this a little bit. Hopefully this will still hit and kill. Oh, oh. Not good. Okay, well, the seekers are a problem, but that is also a problem because one of our troops is flanked, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let this, not gonna let this fly. So, I'm gonna have to huck a grenade over and kill that thing. Now, that's apparently going to hit it. 
I'd like a little more insurance than that, though. Roger that. Okay. Yes, please. We can't use it on the Seekers, but that's... They're just gonna have to be dealt with one by one now. Hopefully they just stealth and strangle, and that's Break that. Out. We're not leaving True One out in the cold, I'm sorry. Because that was my down that was my own damn fault. Ted Rez move back. To position. <sighs> Reload. You're gonna be better off uh, having Reloading. shots, I guess, than overwatching. Okay, that guy's probably going after True One. Hopefully he doesn't have the mobility to. Uh no he does? Uh, th does he? If he does, I'll be impressed. That's quite a move. Like, from there to there. Flanked. That's quite a move. What's he doing? Is he gonna actually take... No, he did not have that. Good. Yes, don't see me. Ah! They're flanking my position. How many Seekers must a man They're walk down? Okay. Go here, grab the meld. Shoot him. And that's three-way cover. That's good cover. That's cover I ain't gonna give up. Hell yeah. True one, do your thing. Good show. Good show, my boy. Oh, yeah. We got a precision shot on one of them. Oh, God. We got a precision shot on one of them. But where are the other three? That's a hell of a shot. But, hey, it's a, the only shot you've got today, Sniper. Good work. Okay. This frees up the rest of the squad to go seeker hunting. Sunting, I guess, as we'll, we'll now call it. Sounds a little dirty, but I suppose at this point I'll... Uh, Okay, there's another. Uh, can we get up at all with Gypsy? No. But Gypsy can heal herself, which is okay. Now, we do have a grenade. Uh, another I'm one with Smithson. That might actually pay off. And we have some full cover over here we might be able to see a Seeker with, or two. Yeah, I say go for it. Through the fire and the flames, Hartman. No, you can't see anything, of course. That's yeah, alright. Now, you could potentially steady for a rocket next turn. That might Gotta handle cover. some secret problems of ours. And of course, Harja is in a bit of a issue where she can't do anything. She can command, though. She can command somebody to have an extra move. But who would that actually benefit? You, perhaps, would benefit. Well, you can't really get anywhere, though. You'd be better off overwatching and then just waiting for a seeker to come at us. I mean, you could hit this thing, sure, but I don't know if you'd actually do any damage to it. Eh, let's try. Ouch. No way, well, we could command him me. to try that again. <laughs> if anything. Alright, you're gonna overwatch. Okay. Uh, let's throw the HE down. And just try to see if we can get rid of any other secret issues. Though... I don't know, because I don't see any other... Oh, man, that is concerning. That is concerning. All right, well, let's use the med kit on danger with Harja and use danger for some other nefarious purpose. Heading to that location. Steady you. We can smoke. I guess that would help, maybe. Oh, well, I don't know. Smoking at this point is no, Come on. no good Come idea, on because the Seekers... They're just going to do... I, I don't know if they're invisible, spread out, or what, but it's not a good... Not a good concept here. It's not a good time. Okay, you're just going to go there. You're going to go over there in Overwatch. I mean, we can try. Won't do us much good, but we can, we can try. Maybe bring some out of stealth. If they are in it and flying. But that Drag might just out. piss them off. It did nothing. They're still around. Alright, maybe we might be taking some hits from Seekers. If they all clustered on one soldier, that would be a shame. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Cover the flanks. Good job, Gypsy. If you can hit it. Well, you hit it, but he's gonna get strangled. But as long as we can save him, we're alright. Okay, yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, he's dumb. He took a shot where he could have flown up and flanked me. Now we still have one unaccounted for. Which is a problem. Now, your running gun is not back yet. But you... You can get up here and handle that one. Or help. 
Ich mach mich los. As opposed to shooting the other one. Actually, you might be able to shoot the other one too. I'm sure Gypsy can actually handle this one. The one that's sitting right there. I believe in Gypsy for that. Come on, Gypsy. Good job, Gypsy. Uh, where, what is everybody's promotion range here? Gypsy could level. Uh, you could also level. Wow, this is either going to be the mission of really close promotions or or a mission of lots of promotions, depending on how it goes. Because I think mission successful gives quite a bit of experience. Yes, that was kind of a burp and kind of not at the same time. Now, your catching breath is going to mean you don't have very good aim. And that's okay. I didn't expect you to. Good to go. Okay, Flynn did not get acided there. Small miracle, I guess. Locked and loaded. You... Do you have any Seekers next to you still? No? Well, reload then. Rock and roll. Uh, because I guess this is... I can't see anything. You might if, uh... If we go over here. Heading to that location. Why don't you fire on that, Dave Smithson? Good try, Dave Smithson. Uh-huh. Now you can smoke everybody, and I might come up and try to strangle. And then we can overwatch with Hartman. That's a good idea. Instead of shoot at us like an idiot. My question is, where the hell is it going? Or, wait a minute, we have Tettle Todd still. How's Tettle Todd? Mm, not close to leveling, but we do need her to level if we want yes, another Rocketeer. Okay, go ahead and shoot it. Not that the SMG is going to kill it, but hey, we'll try. We hit it and actually killed it. So now we just have one left. Down. Got it covered. And then Harge is going to have to... Mm, where do we want to cover? We will probably want to cover our sniper. On my way. Because they're the only one I haven't seen. Overwatch, aye, aye. I mean, if anything, the Seekers would... Yep, I knew it! Come on, Harja, you got it. Heat, one shot, one kill. Almost one shot, one kill. Well, it'll be a pretty easy kill after this, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Do what you gotta do. Alright, you're strangled, but hey. We saw that coming a mile away. Harja, what's your level at? Ooh, you might level from that. Hell, let's do it. Let the, let the kills sing out. I'm them. Up another one. That was a tiny uh, swarming, but it was it was good. We handled it well. We managed to finagle a victory out of that map, which is you know sometimes hard to do because it can give you very bad spawn. That was the good spawn, if you were wondering. That is the side that gives you a lot of advantages. God dang it! Everybody just barely did level. Commander. The additional meld will surely aid in our research. Pain in the butt when that happens, but hey, we already have squad size eight, so I'm not complaining. They'll get there eventually. Good. Very good. Remember, we Hell, we even have extra money. And we also have to remember to put the satellite up once it's done immediately. Uh, facilities. Do I want to build anything else in the meantime? Maybe a lab. No, I don't have the money for a lab. Maybe some equipment. Maybe build that, uh, that Gatling laser I wanted to build that I couldn't build because I had to build the something else. We build another scope. Reinforced armor, we really only need one for assaults we bring. Satellite, we already have. Maybe we could get started on another, another satellite for next month. Laser strike rifle. Are there any other laser weapons that I want multiple of? Possibly the Shatter Ray. Possibly the Shatter Ray. For mo missions where it's going to need a lot of mobility. But otherwise, we're good on air weapons. Not going to buy a shiv yet, I don't think. I don't think that's a good idea. Not more phalanx armor. We're going to get carapace soon ish. We're doing alright with the armor we have. I'll build another Gatling laser. Or I'll build a, the Gatling laser I was wanted to build before, and I'll build a Shatter... Ooh, more pistols would be good, actually. Just build another. And then if we can, build a Shatter. Sure. Okay, awesome. We can build more laser stuff. And then just cancel it if we need the money. Because we're probably gonna need the money, let's be honest. Gangplank, I don't know if it gives you money. But we also have to consider, you know, what we're gonna be buying next June, like alien containment and arc throwers, so we're probably gonna have to cancel a lot of that anyway. Aircraft transfer okay, let's complete. check out those transfers. Now, is there anybody who doesn't have... Yes, you. You need to get that laser cannon on. So you'll be the last one. But that's okay. These guys are gonna be out for a while, but they'll be repaired. And by that time, we're gonna be good to go. Ten days, four days, army weapon three days. And we have three pretty reliable dudes. Well, except for FO Zipper doll. Zippo. Zipper's not so reliable, but 
We're good enough. We can take we can take something. At least one satellite. I mean one UFO. Um, I'll think about that. It's, we have 11 days. Oh, who wanted that, actually? Is that Canada? Ooh, Canada does need its defenses. I'll be honest, Alloy's definitely not. But Meldi might actually consider donating a bit to Canada, because they'll get a little bit of a boost. And they'll be less likely to leave. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's something. Also, Beta 15F, a couple changes that are really good. Aliens don't focus their terror attacks on the same country over and over and over anymore. They shouldn't, at least. Which is good, because every single time they've been going after Canada, no matter what, the, uh, well, the panic's already been high. Always been high. It's always been the case for Canada. And that's a logical move by the aliens to keep targeting it, but... I don't know what's going on It's a little unfair. Check with it's, me. It's just stressful. I mean, it's only caused them to have one base, which I think is why we're doing as well as we're doing. Because they haven't gotten any good research yet. The Cyberdix just appeared on episode, what, 41? Mission 41 in the end of June? Usually you see a mid-June. So we're a little ahead of the curve here, but I don't want to say that. That's like knocking on wood. Okay, 20th of June. We're starting to look close to confounding the light. It's probably going to be the next mission unless a UFO shows up. Uh, and I got to remember to activate that satellite as soon as I can. Incoming. There it is. We have an incoming Ooh, transmission from the council. Back. But he's probably not needed. No, he's not. Confounding light. According to Dr. Shen's report, the transpond report. Transponder device provided by Zhang is tied to the navigation system of an alien battleship approaching our atmosphere. The doctor believes deploying a series of modified transponders on a train of all things could provide you with a means of diverting the battleship before it reaches its target. We will transmit the remaining mission parameters to Central. Okay, guys. We are the thing we are going to definitely bring on this mission with is Spider discretion. Watson. Everybody else does not have to be experienced at all. They just have to be kind of mobile. Now, Spider Watson is going to go ahead and get our laser shatter ray, phalanx armor, Possibly a laser pistol, but he doesn't really have any reason to have that. Um, maybe alloy plating? Uh, but you do kind of want to consider the whole mobility factor. I mean, this might just be all I bring on him right now. Oh, that concealment looks so cool. Oh, I gotta, I gotta dress him for pure stealth, of course. Uh, is there any way to do that, though? His armor tint's gonna have to be darker than black. But I don't think there's any way to get rid of the orange. Pure stealth. Pure stealth right there. So yeah, he is going to be the guy who activates the last node and the one on the train. I'm going to explain my strategy a little bit more. He also has uh, innate battle scanners. Mm. Yeah, 19 mobility, I think this will be enough for him. He has innate battle scanners, which is very good. Now, I will gear up the rest of the squad and see you in a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Odd Squad. On this mission, we are bringing Connor McKenna, Sergeant Slam Dunk Durant, Tom Dudley. These three are known as the, well, the damage control crew. They are going to be here to ensure that if things go south, and I should change that, maybe not to an, I don't know, actually he can keep the SMG because unfortunately we don't have too many high mobility things, you know, on this mission. And I think the SMG is the perfect thing for Rocketeer, especially since I didn't give him good armor either because he's going to be in the back. Same with Dudley, they're both back troops, not good armor. I'm giving them extra compensation in case things go wrong. But uh, they should not go wrong if we play this right. We have a motion tracker on McKenna to make sure this goes as right as possible. Spider Watson coming in with a couple battle scanners. We are going to actually need a lot of battle scanners on this mission. And on ah, wait a minute, that's what you're going to do, Adonis Smith. You're going to use a battle scanner. Even though it's not going to get you a lot of uh, vision, because you don't have the perk yet. But you are a support engineer, so you're going to be more uh, tuned in for that, I think. So you're going to be in the other battle scanner. Three should be good enough, especially with the motion tracker to back us up on it. Uh, and I mean, if we run in, into anything on the path we're going to take, then it's no big deal anyway. Lamb Beaver's probably a little bit of both. Well, she's not mobility. She's more of the cleanup crew and also the defense crew. These three are the activators. Sergeant Watson is the front activator. He's going to be running away far from everybody else in concealment, hopefully, so that nobody sees him and he kind of does some scouting for us, too. Smimey's going to be the middle runner. She's going to activate two with running gun. She's got good mobility for this, or at least good enough. She only has an SMG, though, so we'll see how that works out. And Honoris Ancrath coming in at the back as the back activator. Hopefully she's enough of mobility for that, but she should. You know, with uh, 13 plus 4, that means I score mobility. Normally medics do have higher mobility than this. They should have at least 14 probably, but she's the only one available, and I don't want to fatigue anybody. And I really don't have to, you know? I mean, this is all I've got. Robert D.D. is the same really. She, and actually Robert Didi has even more health, so it might be smarter to bring him instead of Ancrath. 
But I don't know. It's not going to make much of a difference in the long run. Our whole goal here is to not get seen or hit at all. So let's try and do that next time. Thank you for watching this episode. You're confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. You know, I'm pretty confident too. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Later.